During the past few years, I've been coaching many startups to develop mobile applications and web platforms. And one of the recurring questions I get asked is, should I go for native development, cross-platform, or hybrid development? Obviously, there is no one answer for all situations. But with today's episode, I will explain in which case is it relevant to use native, cross-platform, or hybrid development. Hi, I'm Amory, founder and CEO at My City of Friend, where founders come to learn how to build their tech startup. With this Startup Snacks series available on both podcast and YouTube, we want to share the essential to make it easier for you to build your tech startup. And almost since the beginning of mobile application development, we got the option to develop applications in a common languages. In common languages, there are several that can be run on different platforms, like iOS or iPhones, Android, and as well as website. And previously, it was also on a Windows phone. The, op- the opportunity is really to be able to develop an application only once and not for each platform, each type of device. So to be objective, let's see the pros and cons for each, starting with native languages. When we develop in native, that means that we use one of the language recommended for each operating system. And the direct results and benefits are high performance, we can use 100% of the capacity of the smartphone, and fully hardware adapted, especially with Bluetooth or video performance, as well as for augmented reality or virtual reality, for example. Nevertheless, the big drawback of native language is that it's usually more expensive and it can cost between 50 to 70% more than with cross-platform developments. Let's now compare it to hybrid and cross-platform developments. So first, why do we make the difference between hybrid and cross-platform? Well, hybrids mean that we develop an application in web technology, usually HTML plus JavaScript and CSS. And we use a software to run the web pages in a full screen mode on mobile, iPad or whatever tablet or desktop. That was the very first option to uh, create application that can be run on different type of platforms, on different type of device. And the quite old but well-known technologies, I mean hybrid technologies, are Cordova and PhoneGap. These technologies were really relevant before 2015, 2016. But as of today, this option is definitely outdated. Why? Because the big drawbacks of using the te- that technologies is that the web rendering do not really allow high performance. Nevertheless, hybrid can still be useful with no-code technologies because today, uh, we, if we use the no-code tools, we can create a hybrid application in like 10 times faster and cheaper than with native languages and even compared to cross-platform languages. So hybrid is relevant with no-code tools, which also come with uh, the no-code drawbacks, which are not really long-term developments and the dependency on a specific technology and company. Now, let's talk about the cross-platform. Cross-platforms means that we can compile and run an application on different platforms, but with a final application that is almost native. So there are several technologies for cross-platform. The most common are Xamarin, the oldest one, but we have also React Native, Flutter, that are the most common one nowadays. And there are also other cross-platform technologies more adapted for games and videos, things like virtual reality, augmented reality, and those ones are Unity and Unreal. The big advantage of cross-platform is that they can develop, be developed once, and we can convert that into native language, which is way faster than hybrid technologies. It's not as performing as real native app, but still we can use between 60 to 90% of the smartphone capacity. So in conclusion, what choice should you make for an early stage startup? Considering that a startup should not invest too much on the beginning, on the first versions of their product, at least until they really prove their positioning. And in that case, I would recommend you two 
uh, options, the two best options for early stage startups, which are to use hybrid technologies with no code technologies, because we can develop an application in just a few days, or to use cross-platform technologies. And I would recommend React Native or Flutter, which are the most used technologies by the end of 2021. Even if you need a slightly different design on iOS or on Android, for example, or for your web platform, you know that you can still develop a specific type of code, a specific behavior or design for your app, depending on if you are on iOS, on Android, or on web. It will depend on the way you develop your application and you can have some specific requirements for your developer. Last recommendation. The only case that it would be relevant nowadays to develop in real native application are for really high performing video requirements or hardware dependencies. You know, our smartphones are very, very powerful. So I don't think you should worry about your application speed with cross-platform uh, technologies and just move forward with what is the cheaper and faster in order to prove your market. If you enjoy learning with us and want to see more, consider subscribing. Help us spread the word by hitting the like button and by sharing with your entrepreneur friends. If you have any question or want to suggest a topic, feel free to comment down below. And you can also check out our website to learn more about our program and how you can join.